Hi folks, and thank you for joining me for another episode of my easy, delicious meals at home. You can adjust the ingredients for two or three servings. You only need what you see on the screen for this recipe. If you love lamb shanks, you will love this recipe. It combines the convenience of an air fryer and a pressure cooker to create tender, juicy and flavorful lamb shanks in less than an hour. The air fryer gives the lamb shanks an authentic roast flavor, while the pressure cooker gives falls off the bone tenderness. This is the ultimate comfort food that you can enjoy any day of the week. Follow these simple steps to make this amazing lamb recipe with an air fryer and a pressure cooker. To prepare your lamb shank for roasting, apply a thin layer of olive oil over the entire surface of the meat. This will help seal the juices and flavor and prevent the meat from drying out in the air fryer. Use a pastry brush or your fingers to spread the oil evenly, making sure to cover every part of the lamb. You don't need to use too much oil, just enough to coat the meat lightly. Now, you need to season it properly with salt and black pepper. This will enhance the flavor and texture of the meat and help form a crust when searing. Use a salt grinder and a pepper mill to get freshly milled salt and black pepper, which are more aromatic and potent than pre-ground ones. Scatter the salt and pepper generously over the lamb. Make sure you coat all sides and corners of the lamb evenly so that every bite will be delicious and well seasoned. Follow these simple steps for a succulent and tender lamb shank with a delicious roasted lamb flavor. First, put the lamb shank in the air fryer basket, making sure it is not too big for the space. Then, choose the air fry option and set the timer for 25 minutes and the temperature for 200 degrees Celsius, 395 degrees Fahrenheit. This will give your lamb shank a nice sear on all sides and a rich flavor. Once the lamb shank is seared on all sides, remove it from the heat and place it in a dish to rest. One way to make your lamb shanks healthier and the gravy easier is to air fry the lamb before pressure cooking it. The hot air removes some of the fat from the lamb, and the stock from the pressure cooker has less oil to skim off. You can use the stock to make a delicious gravy for your lamb. You can make a tasty stock using diced onions, sliced carrots, and two cups of ready-made lamb stock, and the lamb juices during cooking to make a delicious gravy. The next step is to place your lamb shank on the trivet inside the cooking pot. Make sure it is well positioned and does not touch the sides of the pot. Then, put the pot into the pressure cooker, and close the lid and turn the valve to sealing. Press the pressure cook button and adjust the settings to high pressure and 45 minutes of cooking time. This will allow the lamb to become tender and juicy in a fraction of the time it would take in a conventional oven. We are almost done with one minute of the cooking process to go. The instant pot will beep in a few seconds to indicate that the process has finished. After that, we will let it release the pressure naturally, which will take about 10 to 15 minutes, then we can open the lid and enjoy our meal. We're going to have some potato, carrot and swede mash um, with, our, um, with our lamb shank. So I'm going to put this in the microwave, it will take five minutes. By the time it's done, the lamb shank and the uh, uh, natural, uh, natural release will probably be finished so we can start plating up. Okay, this should be almost. There's a little bit of steam left and we'll get that out. There it is. Right, well here it is. That is fall off the bone. Now we have some fantastic juices there. We've not, it's not full of fat because we took a lot of the fat out when we were in the um, um, in the cassori, in the air fryer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to 
make this into a gravy. So just by adding a little bit of corn flour, I'm going to do it on the stove um, because it's a little bit difficult on the table here and I'll be back in a, in a, in a couple of minutes. Right, that's the gravy made. Here's our potato, swede and carrot mash. So all we're going to do now is actually, if we can, pop our shank onto the plate. Look how this is full off the bone. It just comes away, doesn't it? Fantastic. This potato sweet mash is a real time saver. It's quite lovely. Nice and moorish. Finish it off with a couple of knobs of butter. You've got all those onions and a little bit of carrot in the gravy. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on there. For you. Right folks, as I said, this is real fall off the bone meat. You can see, absolutely fantastic. I'm going to love this. It's definitely taste test time. Mm. It's tender, moist. You can taste the roast flavour from the air fryer. <clears throat> it really is nice and it's so much better so much better than just a pressure cooker lamb shank. It's, it has a whole different flavour and it really is nice. But the potato carrot sweet mash goes so well with it. It's fantastic. In fact, we're missing one important addition. We need some mint sauce, folks. Just a little bit there. That would be great. Here we go. On the mash. Get some. Mm. It took 25 minutes in the air fryer, 45 minutes in the, in the um, pressure cooker, in the instant pot rather, and here we are. We have a really nice, a really nice dinner. I'm going to enjoy this folks. This is my tea. I'm going to shut up. Shut up and eat. Mm. Catch you in the next video, folks. Thanks for watching. I very much appreciate it. Bye for now.